How's it going? So, look, if somebody gives you a CDN, one second. So, CDN will look something like this, right? So, you copy the tag, you put it in here at the end of the file, and then boom, it's going to work. Okay? Now, the alternative way of doing this is you have to understand that this stuff, this is just a file somewhere on uh, the cloud, okay? So what you can do is you can just take this whole file. I just need to make sure that this is the right file. So you can take this file, okay? And then you can copy it, and then you can create a folder, well, not folder, but file on your local repository with the same information in it. So I created, well, let, let me just delete it so it will not work. Okay, so I'm going to delete it. I'm going to delete it in here as well. So, okay. So now my app is going to crash probably because it cannot find the library. So, okay, so how can I get this library to work? All right, locally, I just want it to be local. So, um, so we go to the file, which is here, we copy all this info, then we go, we create folder, I call it library, you can put whatever the hell you want. Uh, I create another folder material, then I want file, what is it? And I just copy and paste from here, angular, material, blah, 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 whatever it's called. Angular dash material dot mean dot js, like this. Okay, and now I'm copy and pasting from here. Okay, so we copy and paste it. So now this is our library. You can either manually download it or you can do it this way. Oh, shit, I did it the, the wrong one. Whoopsie. Yeah, so it's this one here. So now the final step is, okay, so now this is in a file. We don't need this anymore. So now we just need to add it, so which is script source equals, where is it? It's an app, library, material, and material.js, like this. And then we'll close it and it will automatically complete for us. Now it's going to work. So do you understand all of this mambo jumbo, all of this kind of like CDNs, what do you call them? CDN. You see all of this like CDN mambo jumbos are just files in the cloud. So when you are taking the script from here right, and you're copy and pasting them in here, what you are effectively asking browser to do is to download this from, um, from here. So while Angular is loading, the download is going to happen and it will put it into your browser, okay? So the, what I'm showing you is that, like, I don't know, if you don't want to have internet working <laughs> in today's world, no internet is hilarious. But I'm just saying that, okay, you want to load faster or whatever, or you want the scripts to be loaded first in the head as opposed to in the body, because, I don't know, sometimes putting sh shite into body can be tricky. What you can do is you can literally just go to the file okay and then create the same file on your local uh, directory and then just 
copy and paste the content into it and it's going to work and then add it through the script tags so you see this is what I did with so this was my original angular setup you see this was my not angular but my um, what do you call it uh, material UI okay so I was like no I don't want this to be downloaded from the internet I just wanted to be on my local repository so what I did was I went into every single one of them manually one by one you see I went one by one and I copy and paste it this was angular animate so where is angular animate there it is you see and I copy and paste it in here. Do you understand? And then now it's going to work, basically. So I don't need this uh, stuff anymore. Because the reason why I did that is because, first of all, I was trying to get the material working, but then I realized, hey, um, it's probably a lot faster. I don't need to download the internet thing. So, And I also don't like to have... Uh, stuff in the body at the end of the file. It just I don't know personal preference I suppose and and I did it for everything basically even you see there was a um, library for the Angular CSS you see again it was downloading it from here so I was like okay let me just go and Get this whole library which was here. I copied it and then I put it in just where is it? In here, you see. Oh, whoops. I kind of... Um, you can format it if you want as well. But it's going to take up a lot more space if you do it then. So I just kind of... I did it this way. And it's going to work, you see. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye. Just, just like... Just think about it. This is just a bunch of code that is uglified so you're just copy and pasting it and just referencing it in your html document and that's it and it's going to work okay take care bye bye